hey you guys so today i am coming to you with a video regarding natural hair products that i have been using recently and that i have been liking so i'm going to do this in the order of um the way you would do it on like a daily basis or like when you're doing your hair so i'm going to go from wash i'm going to go from shampoo to conditioner to mask to leave-in conditioners co-washes and all that other stuff so i'm just gonna go in the order of that and um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see the products that i've been liking so far just stay tuned i got the tea all right so the first product that i have is the i'm hoping i'm saying this right the eating the eating um body works natural cleansing co-wash cleanse and condition i've been using this as a co-wash recently i got it on sale at tj maxx for like three dollars um i really like this it is not like a super thick paste but it's um a really good paste um i think i've used this like three or four times and my mom used some too so it's a really good thick paste um it has shea butter coconut shea butter natural cleansing co-wash it's sulfate free, no suds, gentle cleansing, conditioner cream for removing residue and build up between regular washes, washings. So I really been liking this as a co-wash. Like I said, it smells really, really good. Um, I don't know how much this runs for, but um, yeah, that's about it. So the next thing that you're going to need, of course, is some shampoo. So my favorite shampoo for a while, and I kind of strayed away from it, is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthening and Restore Shampoo with shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. Every last thing that I just named is really good and really healthy for your hair. When I tell y'all, like my hair, my curls pop back with this or they just they look so much better after a good old wash with this stuff it's crazy like <laughs> i don't know like shea moisture to me has really good products anyway but this is one of their very like amazing products that i've loved to this day um it's it I, I can't even explain it like how it makes my hair so curly after wash it's so moisturized it looks so shiny it looks so healthy after i'm done washing it it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel if i do like this like my edges are about to pop out of my head like this is amazing and i think this runs for like ten dollars at um target i'm i mainly get my stuff from target but yeah i think it runs for like ten dollars if i'm not mistaken but i'm sorry i was looking at my phone to see if i can look it up but i don't know it might be different in different states you know how they go but um this is really good for styled heat hair i use this after i straighten my hair for one of those sleek braided ponytails and blow dried my hair it really helped my curls pop back with one wash maybe two washes but normally it takes like two washes a mask to like get my hair really really good but all right so the next one honestly i'm not really a big fan of but i've been using it this is the mixed chicks um shampoo this is okay to me it dried my hair out once again i got it from tj maxx this has dried my hair this i feel like this dried my hair out a lot it is I don't know does it have sodium i don't really as you can tell like look at the difference <clears throat> look at the difference of and i got this way after like a month or two after this so you can tell the difference of how much which one i like the most honestly i can say this is a backup like if i can't get to this and i need to wash my hair and i need to redo my hair i'll use this like but like I said, this isn't my favorite at all. This is just something that I picked up because I wanted to try. But it's not horrible either. It does refresh my curls and it does get my hair clean with like two or three washes or really one wash. But um, I just do two washes, two or three washes just to make sure. But this is okay. Like I said before, this is just the Mixed Chicks shampoo. So this is how that one looks. 
the next thing is the Jamaica the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Conditioner with the same products that I list before. So this is how this looks. Yeah, my bottles are like bent up because I use them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is this one. This one, um, the shampoo isn't as minty as this one. This one is a lot more minty. Um, I don't know if they put more mint in it, but it just feels so much more like refreshing on my scalp. It just feels so much better. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it has more peppermint or whatever in it, but you guys, this is amazing. My hair feels so soft. After I wash it out, it just feels like, oh my God. Like, it's just, that's how I be feeling. This stuff is amazing. I'm telling y'all, go purchase the Shave Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. If you're um, experiencing like, um, what is it called? Like, heat damage or not even heat damage but you know like your hair is not getting textured in the other spot you know whatever whatever i recommend this because when i tell you it really helped my hair and this um this as you can see down here it says soften and nourish natural chemically processed and heat styled hair so this is a really good transition i would use this after coloring my hair i would use this after straightening my hair you're going back to a curl you're going back to your curl or your like your normal whatever you want to call it i recommend this 110 percent the next thing i'm going to show you is hair mask so i'm going to show you the Tegan, I hope I'm saying this right. Tegan, Tegan, don't know. Tegan Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask with Black Honey and Coconut Oil. Don't know what that says. Oh, it's in Spanish. Oh my God. I, I was like thinking they had like some extra products, y'all. This is in Spanish. Okay. Um, Thank God it's natural, period. So this is a really good one. And it... When I tell you, y'all, this stuff smells so... I wish I can smell it. I wish it was like a smell can. Now, this one is a little bit more expensive than my Shea Moisture products that I was showing you. This was uh, $11.99 at TJ Maxx. And if you don't know, TJ Maxx is a discounted store. So, for it to be like $11.99, to me, that's a little expensive. Luckily, my hair... Well, not luckily, but... Anyway, my hair is not super, super long. It's super, super thick where I have to use a lot of product because this can get very, very pricey. But it works really, really well. Um, I don't use this necessarily after like a... Uh, um, I don't put this hair mask um, on like after I straighten my hair or something. I just put it like randomly, you know. But this is a really, really good one for if your hair, if you're doing like a um, wash and go, I really recommend this one. It's really good because it just nourishes your hair, gets your curl pattern popping, and it just helps nourish your hair and gets it back to like health and just show your natural beauty or your natural curl pattern. So I recommend this one. This one I keep on for about two, about four or five hours. Um, I keep my mask in longer than I probably should, but I don't think there's a say on how long you can keep it in and how long you can't. But this is a really good one. Um, like I said, it comes with, it does come with a lot of product. Like I think I use this like three times and it comes, well, maybe two times. Yeah, about two times and it smells really really good so i think when i wash my hair again i think i'm gonna use this now back to my shit I, I think i have like well i do have the whole line for this these products so the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthening hair mask i'm not going to repeat everything because it's literally the same thing y'all when i tell y'all every time i touch this stuff i keep forgetting how thick it is. look it's not even moving that's how thick this stuff is it's amazing when i tell you it's amazing it's amazing so i highly recommend this this really helped me after i um straightened my hair like this whole line that's the reason why i bought it and ever since then i just been using it because i was like shook i was shook so i highly recommend this if you're experiencing your curl patterns not as tight or anything or you just dyed your hair like i said before 
this stuff really really helped my hair um it doesn't have the best it doesn't have the best smell but it doesn't stink i smelled worse so like i said this is a really good one for you know just curls in general like i feel like this will be your lover in the summertime like in the summertime oh my god especially like when you're going to like the beach and stuff you know you can put you can like do it like a hair mask on your hair right after you know you've been in the water all day um i'm the type of person i get my hair i like to get my hair wet when i'm um at the beach and stuff or if i'm like at a pool so i feel like this would be a really really good one after your hair has been sitting in pool water pretty much for a couple hours this would be a really good one this is gonna be your best your best friend period so i recommend this one more than anything i recommend the whole line but we're gonna get into that later right, so the next thing is styling creams so or not styling creams or like leave-in conditioner so the first the first, I felt something on my arm. the first one is the Eden Natural Curl Defining Cream. This one is a really, really good. Oh my God, this it smells just smells so good. It smells really good. Now this, I feel like it doesn't moisturize my hair to the T like I like it and like other products do. So this isn't my necessarily favorite, but it's something that I will pick up. Um, because it does nourish my hair, but not nourish it enough to, you know, for a leave-in conditioner. Um, yeah, and it doesn't hold, it holds my curls, but if I were just to put this on my hair, it wouldn't necessarily hold it really, really well as other products will. So, um, yeah, this is a very good one. Um, like I said, I got it from TJ Maxx. I get pretty much all my products from there, so, yes. The next product I'm going to show is the Mix Chick Sculpture Fast Drying Weightless Curl Cre uh, Creator or whatever. So I like, I really like this one. Only thing about this one that I don't like is that it flakes in my opinion. I have tried it to a point, I had tried it by itself one day and it was definitely, at first I thought it was my gel flaking up on me, but it was this, it flakes. Um, I think it's because it's the fast drying one, I'm assuming, but it flakes and it's, it's okay. Um, well, it really helps get my curl pattern pop in, but the flakes are not worth it. I tried mixing it with oils and it, it just flakes. So it's a really good one, but flakes. <laughs> if you didn't get my gif the first time, period. Okay. So. Okay, so the next product, yes. Comment down below, stop the video right here and let me know what product I'm about to show you. If you've been watching this whole video, comment down below and just think of the product I'm about to show you. I'll give you a second. Okay, time's up. So, Shea Moisture, <laughs> Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. That's what... I did my dang pillow dog. Okay, so this is what I used on my hair for this wash and go, as you can tell. And it, girl, girl, bye. It speaks for itself, honey. This is on day two or three, I think. Maybe three. And my curls are still popping. Okay, popping. Period. Now, this isn't the only product that I used, but it's one of them. And just look, it's my curls are still bare. Like they're still like, hey, hey ma'am, my edge is a little missing, but my curls still there. Period. <laughs> yeah, I did some full locks on my hair. And I just feel like my edges just haven't been the same set. <sighs> anyway, back to my back to my guru. This is my girl. This is my girl. Period. Okay. This product makes me so happy. Doesn't smell good, but it's worth it. Like the curls that it just leaves behind, be like, what? Anyway, this is a really good product for like recommend. I highly recommend this entire brand. I don't know if I'm missing a product. I think I am missing a product from this collection, but 
this collection from Shea Moisture is my favorite. I need to go buy some more because I feel like every time I go to Target and I don't need it, it's there. But I feel like the day that I'm going to need it, it's not going to be there. But anyway, so yes, the leave-in conditioner, that's what I have on my hair right now. And I really feel like it helped my curls define. And when I put it in um, versus when I put this in, this is not necessarily a detangler. I don't even think it says detangler. No, it's not a detangler. It's, it's just the strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner. I can detangle through my hair so much better with this versus this. For some reason, I feel like my hair pops a lot with this. I don't know if you know, notice, or if everybody has it, where they're, you're brushing through your hair, you start, and you get close to the top and your hair starts popping. So the next thing I'm going to show you are my oils that I use on my hair. So the first oil that I use on my hair, and I've tried this before. I haven't done it recently, but I love it. It is the 100% uh, black um, African shea butter, not black, but African shea butter. It's really, really good, and it's it's good for your skin, girl. While you're doing your hair, you can just roll it onto your face or whatever. Like, like, look at that. Sorry, I got my friend's birthday on my hand. <laughs> but this is amazing to, like, just get your hair nice and, oil not oily, but hydrated as far as oil goes. Um amazing i got this from my beauty supply store this runs i don't really know for maybe like 5.99 they do sell them at like flea i don't know if everybody has them around them but flea markets and stuff i know i've gotten some from flea markets i gotten some from roses i have gotten some from roses like a like a discounted store um where else do they have it? But mainly like flea markets that they have it where they have like, um, you know, like different shea butter, shea, um, African black, African, black African soap or African, you know what I mean? So yeah, they sell it everywhere. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. All right. So the next thing y'all is the goats. This is my friend. This is my girl. This, this had gotten my edges back one time when my edges were never thing like they were gone gone so this right here is amazing this is the wild growth hair oil if you don't know now you know put this in your hair put a couple dots all you need to do is like maybe twice i put it in every time i wash my hair and every time i do a wash and go every time i do my hair in general every time i wash my hair i put this this is one of the first things i put in i just go you shake it you dab it. I'm not gonna put a lot because I'm actually gonna wash my hair in like two days, so I don't want to waste product. So you just shake it, you dab it, you put it in your hair, and you just rub it all through your scalp. And it's to me, it smells really, really good. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, please comment down below videos that you do want to see. Also, yeah, just leave comments down below of videos that you want to see. And thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Period. So, thanks so much and have a good one.